so it is cold outside what is up everyone uh today we're gonna talk about why you should do a dirty bulk and before we do anything uh yeah i know my fucking gloves is that what you say in english it's a little bit goofy but it's fucking cold outside man so i'm waiting for the for the fucking uh, windows to get heated up and then we can get rolling in the car so while i wait for that i just want to make this quick little uncut video um talking about why you should do a dirty bulk but before we do anything i just want to say um show you a little picture of me before i started lifting and started a dirty bulk and then after so it's all natural and i gained about 40 five pounds in that uh, time period of about 10 months so i gained 40 pounds in 10 months it's a bit of a weight gain for me so uh, that is why i cut after this because it was just too hard to keep on eating that much food like your body need a rest period so now now i'm cutting obviously but um yeah man it, if i just did that shit dirty bulk and i know it has a pretty big bad reputation in the fitness community nowadays because a lot of people just want to be aesthetic they want to be skinny they want to have six pack and they want to look lean like of course i, I think girls m would more preferably like prefer a man with a six pack lean aesthetic build than um, a guy that has a bit of a fat but like looks big and strong maybe they prefer that but i mean i i don't want to be a skinny you know skinny shrimp man i just wanted to be bigger and i didn't care about the fat gain i would gain about going on this dirty bulk because i was just tired to um, be skinny all the time and uh, get called skinny you know get bullied every time people just call me a stick a stick you know a stick and uh, not that word but you know you know what i mean the little tree thing um a shrimp they would call me but um then i just fucking start this dirty bulk and now they just say oh shit man you're fucking huge big like you look big and strong they're not saying the same guys that said i was skinny are now saying that i look big and strong so i mean that kind of proves a point but i didn't do it for them okay you can never do anything to anyone else i was doing it for me to build my own self-confidence you know and i just think if you're skinny like dirty bulk is the way to go and the reason why is because when you're new to lifting uh, your body hasn't really been you know you haven't really been lifting at all really and your body is is new to all this uh, like lifting and stuff and uh, when you start eating more it's also new to all that stuff too because if you're skinny you haven't been eating enough recently in your whole life you know um so that's why when you first start dirty bulking it's not like you're just gonna get fat and a lot of people think uh, you're gonna get skinny fat like when you're skinny but you used to have a big belly and the reason why you're not gonna get that is because you're lifting weights if a skinny person would eat a lot of food and not lift any weights of course it's all gonna get to his belly you know but if you lift weights and then eat a lot of food you're gonna get fat and muscle on all the parts you're just gonna get bigger and um, yeah you're gonna get look huge and you're gonna finally fill out the fucking shirt for once um that was the worst thing for me because like whenever I used a t-shirt I didn't my arms would just look so skinny in them and I would feel very insecure and stuff so the only reason for me was just to go as big as I can and go hard 
because in the first year of lifting you're gonna get the most amount of gains and muscle growth and if your mind is to like oh, I'm gonna go on a mini cut like or you should like maintain or bulk a little during this one year period you are not gonna grow because your body needs food and uh, to recover after all the weightlifting and to grow muscle your body needs food so why not eat a lot of fucking food during that time uh, so you know that you're getting enough and um, yeah of course the word uh, we're gonna talk about today is a dirty bulk and um, that is more like you know what I mean a lot of people have a mild opinion about this dirty bulk they don't think it's pretty good but yeah it's it's a lot of pizza and hamburgers and ice cream and stuff like that but what people get wrong is they think you should eat that every day like you should eat pizza hamburger ice cream every single day and that doesn't work you know that doesn't fucking work um the way i did it was um during the weekend uh so friday uh, S saturday and sunday i ate the pizza and hamburgers and all that stuff ice cream i just ate a lot of food just to really build myself up and um during the weekdays i um, i didn't minimize my food but i ate a little bit more clean you know i ate pasta i ate uh, rice steak bread i ate a lot of this stuff you know um yogurt and uh, yeah all that stuff so i ate those during the weekdays because that was the time i was training you know i don't want to eat a big hamburger or a pizza before i go to the gym uh because that's just gonna make me feel fatigued tired you know for yourself like after you eat a big meal um you just gonna get tired you always feel like fatigued tired after eating that so that is why i you know only ate that on the weekends uh, so i built myself up during the weekends you know recover i slept a lot and then i was ready for the weekdays where i would train hard you know every set to failure you know don't remember remember that go always to failure and during your first year of um, bulking uh, don't do a lot of cardio i know <laughs> i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this but when you first start lifting you should um, your mind should only be focused on the lifting and trying to learn as much as you can if you think you're gonna have to go up early and do cardio too and uh, this is gonna be hard for you man and it's gonna be too much at once and you're just gonna have to eat a lot more food and i know it's already hard for you to eat a lot of food that is why you're skinny of course but uh, yeah man that's what i would do uh eat dirty on the weekends and then fucking clean on the weekdays just go hard and um a little cheat code for bulking is to eat, drink milk. I know a lot of people say you get like titties from drinking milk because it's cow milk and stuff. And I promise I drank one liter of milk and sometimes chocolate milk for four, four to five month, months. And I didn't re recognize any of that. So that, is, that advice is bullshit. And it's only for those people who doesn't lift weights, you know. Because if you do a heavy ass bench press, why would you like get titties, like bitch titties from benching hard and eating a lot of food? It doesn't make sense, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard to explain, but I think you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, during this bulking period... Uh, be sure to use all those heavy compound movements so be sure to squat heavy bench heavy if you want to deadlift 
heavy do deadlift but if you can't do deadlift it's gonna don't do it because it's very easy to hurt yourself instead of deadlift you can do heavy rows it's also a compound lift and yeah do the compound movements because that's really gonna increase a lot of testosterone and you hit a lot of muscle groups at once and you're gonna feel yourself stronger and when you're stronger you also get bigger and that's what you fuck what the fuck you want you don't want to be skinny anymore uh, that's why you see all those big dudes power lifters they are pretty big as uh, they look strong because they bench heavy they do all those compound movements uh, that's why you also see these um, aesthetic bodybuilders the reason why they look so skinny and the aesthetic is because they do bodybuilding movements they used to like all those isolation movements they do the fucking I don't know what to do they do the yeah you know what I mean they might do a little lat pull downs I'm not saying it's not good you should do those but you should do all those movements after you've done your compound movements so it's good for like really squeeze out the last reps and get a pump you know uh, so remember you can do those stuff but uh, remember to like during your if you do back for example uh, one workout should be heavy rowing and uh, if you do chest uh, one workout uh, should be of course chest uh, incline bench press and stuff so uh, yeah and then you can do whatever you want in between you're gonna get as long as you get a pump you're gonna grow okay so that is yeah basic stuff but yeah getting a little off topic now uh, dirty bulk of course is good it uh, might not have the best health benefits you might see a lot of acne a lot of uh, fat around your face um, but remember this is just a short period of time and um, you're gonna find your purpose while you're doing this and um, you gotta first build yourself to then you know cut yourself I mean <laughs> not cut you but you know a uh, lean down it's like um when you build a snowman you first build two fucking big blocks just a lot of fat and stuff and then you take and like sculpt it down you know you clean it down make it more nicer you gotta just first build yourself up and then you know cut do a little cut or maintain whatever you want to do but yeah fuck fucking man i hope you find a reason why you should do a dirty bulk um Remember, you're not gonna grow eating fucking chicken and rice because that's gonna just be too hard for you. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time getting all that food in. It's, of course, it's better food, but for you, if you're skinny, it's gonna be very hard to only eat chicken and rice all day and maybe some salad, burrito or stuff. Nah, you're, it's not gonna work, not gonna work. Um, trust me, I've done it myself. Uh, tried to eat clean for like two three weeks when i first started lifting uh i didn't gain any weight i was more going down in weight you know <laughs> so um yeah fuck it gotta clean the windows from outside because this shit's not working um but hope you enjoyed this uncut the raw footage i'm not going off any script in this video i'm just talking what's up here to you guys so why would i want to go off any script or stuff it's more like that's kind of fake to me i just want to be real with you guys i just want to yeah you know what i'm saying um but yeah that's enough uh if you have any questions leave it down below and i'll probably see you next time on our workout vlog or something so yeah peace